Hey everybody, it's Mama J and we're back with another pop protector. I decided I probably should get a pop protector from my Maiden 4 pack. I normally don't like big packs like this. I, I'm just not a fan, but this one is pretty awesome. So I have kept this one in my collection. Just like the double albums, the really big ones. I can't stand those. I only have one, which is the doors. And the only reason I have that one is because I can't get a Jim Morrison pop any other way. Give me a regular Morrison Pop and that would probably go up for sale. We got a pop protector for it. It's nice and big. This one is a little different, so we're going to snap it in because obviously it's bigger. I believe the cost for this one, cost for this one was $8.50. I, I don't think that was that bad. Again, I had a coupon. I had some coupons because I had done their Mystery Grail, did a 555 where you got $5 coupons for three different you know, for them and two sister companies. And then this, obviously, oh, you know what? I almost forgot what I tell you guys to do. Flaps in, flaps out. And then flaps in, flaps out. Get this one in there. Pull it all the way in, then we're going to pull it all the way out. All right. I have never opened this. It still has the tape and everything. I think that's one of the other things, too. And I know they do that because of the size of these. I'm just, I don't know. I've just never been a fan of these mass amount sized pops. But again, this one, you know, it's maiden, so it's going to stay in my collection. Ooh, that's a very snug fit. All right, we got it in there. I close it up. Let me pull the plastic off of it. Because again, I always want to take the plastic off. Plastic is off. Nice and shiny. Let's go ahead and get that on there. So this is pretty awesome. This comes with the Iron Maiden Eddie, the Killer Eddie, the Number of the Beast Eddie, and Peace of Mind Eddie. I have um, a bunch of the single Eddies too. I do not believe I have all of them. They just released a lot. And, you know, after so many, stop. Give us something else. I say that even with Ozzy. Stop with Ozzy. Give us something else. But anyways, that's in there now. So nice and protected. Looks nice and shiny. So real happy that I was able to get that in a protector. It's been sitting up there for a long time, pulled it down, and I went, oh, there's too much dust on this. I need, I need protection. So we're gonna go ahead now, and we got this one. So I don't think it was too bad. I think that one was 850, and then again, like I said, I had a coupon. I had a couple coupons, so I did two separate orders. Got a few things in one order, a few things in another order. So I didn't think it was too bad, but let me know, do you put those things in protection? Do you put all your pops in protection? Because I know some people only put certain pops. Every pop I keep, whether it's a $2 pop or a $400 pop, they are all in some type of protection. If it's staying in my collection, it goes into protection. Same thing with my son's collection. Do you guys do that or do you only put pops in, of a certain value in protection? Other than that, don't forget, leave that comment. Could get you entered in a giveaway. And if you want to get something every month, there's a link down below for the Patreon, and they get entered in all the giveaways. Other than that, don't forget, check out that awesome Patreon video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Keep on rocking. <laughs>